Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Clement Master Return, playing Jax with uh, the Pax Jax skin. Uh, I think we're against an Akali, but obviously these two could trade easily. Um, I, I've not played uh, versus the Akali directly myself, it, it, which I mean like I've had her on the enemy team, but I've not laned against them. So I have no idea how strong they are in trades. Um, I'm playing Jax, and Jax at the moment has got so much popularity like if you're a Jax player right now is bliss it's one of the best patches for Jax has been in probably years uh, and also because like another reason for it is Jax if you're an amazing Jax player even throughout history going ignite has always been what Jaxes have wanted to do because he's a late game hyper carry but the ignite can actually give you that early game but because teleport was so prominent, everyone was like, oh, you have to take teleport. Well, now teleport got nerfed, and for a lot of top laners, it's not even worth taking anymore. Uh, it's just... Damn. Uh, it's just really good to go ignite. But that was a massive mistake by my bot lane. Again, I've always found it really odd when, like, a, your own bot lane just tries to poke them out a little bit, and they get fully engaged on and die. It's like, I don't really know what you were trying to achieve for doing that to be honest. Alright, some people in the Twitch chat are saying her level 1 is insane. Okay. I don't know what about her level 1 makes her insane. Uh, okay. Interesting. So I know she's got an ability like that. Oh, I actually wanted that to hit all three, but it only hit one. How much can you spam that? What the hell? What's the cooldown on that? Is it like three seconds? What? Let me add him. And then that thing... Oh, yeah, 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 I mistimed. That thing's like a big damage when she swings that thing. Okay, this is going to be a big learning experience for me. Yeah, we can fight. We need our mid laner. Oh, why do I think this game is going to go bad? I just have that funny feeling. Like, remember, that Trundle's got no flash. So if Galio actually moved and not was, like, kind of AFK, uh, we probably could have got a kill there. But he was just sleeping. A jungler that doesn't have flash should never be allowed to get a free Skull Crab like that. I've got to be really careful of the gank right now because I don't have a wall to jump to. I've still got flash, obviously, but... Okay, there he is. And he's coming top lane. She can run to me now. So that's a weird ability because you can basically, from my knowledge, run to anybody from any range. Oh, the lane is in a terrible place for me, by the way. It's pushing and she's got um, XP advantage right now. I have heard that the new Akali is really oppressive, by the way. So, we'll see. I'm just going to go back. I'm so far behind in this top lane now. Oh, that sucks. My lane is basically screwed for a while. Just kind of hoping that I outscale her. But again, I don't know if I do. I presume I do because I'm Jax. But, don't know. He miscomboed. Oh, that bot lane. That really sucked. The pike did the com combo completely wrong. It's on. But now she's just freezing it. Oh my god, this lane is so bad. If I don't get jungle pressure, I'm screwed. Kind of like my bot lane is already. Okay, it's starting to push into my territory. More minions here than there is on this side. So I've just got to be really patient and let it push and miss miss more farm, be behind in XP. But uh, wait until it goes on my side and hopefully I can just freeze it for a while. Because that's my only way of getting back into this lane. She's triple my farm right now because there's been nothing I could have done. Fun times, baby! Right 
So she wants to push it into the tower because if she pushes it into the tower, um, it won't freeze. Yeah. Make one mistake and I'll counter it. Okay. A fitting prize. Uh, Rush Psycho. Thanks, man. Welcome, dude. Okay, that gives me a bit of lane dominance now. I don't know what ability you want to max W, I guess. Please go well. He's not dead yet, that Galio. He survived a really long time. Okay, that was really good. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful of her like going all on me, I think. Because I think she's going to be angry for me getting that cheeky kill. Yeah, she just walked into the tower again. Again, you know, she could be new to the champion as well. Who knows? If Skana get... Uh, what's her ultimate? Oh, yeah, it's the dash. Okay. Part of me is like, I'm just going to go back again. So I'm, I went from being hot, uh, she being triple my CS to now I'm only half down, but... I just don't have the pressure I need. I needed Skarna to come top lane there. If Skarna came top lane then... It's going relatively well by the looks of it if they do survive this. If he came top lane then, I would have just won my lane completely, I think. But he went bot lane instead. And got punished for it. Can I play Akali? Nah. Not my type of thing. Yeah. So Skarna going bot lane actually cost us more than everything. That kind of sucks. Ready for battle. Okay. I think I outscale her already. Hmm. What happened to roll off the diamond? I explained it. Again, I will say sometimes as a streamer, you get a bit annoyed when people ask questions that they should know the answer to. So I, at least for today's stream, I'm not answering those type of questions because it just gets to you every now and then. Because it's more annoying than not. Yeah, I know she used energy, but I, I, I still think I probably out. Unless she like one shots me, I think I beat her. But maybe she does one shot me, but I don't think so. Oh, we're about to find out. Let me add him. She has got an item up on me. But I don't know. Bring it on. Cause she's being really patient. That's one thing I will say about this Akali. Like, so many players would have just queued that or I think it's Q just to wave clear that. Nope, she holds on to it. To just free. Uh... So that is so weird, by the way. Akali came top lane after basing, even though she knew her bot lane was going top. That's really bad team synergy. If Skarna. Is he six? He is six. If he grabs one of them. The only issue of it. Kill it before it kills me! I do get the kill though, because Ignite. Ah, worth. She needed to die a little bit quicker. Hey, wait, no. Ezreal just entered into the tower. Wait, what? I have no idea what's happening in bot lane with this Ezreal and Pike. He's one and four. Oh dear. People be bad, I guess. Is he staying bot lane? Apparently they're staying bot lane even though they should go up to top, but okay. Sure, I guess. He's warding here. Let me add him. Yeah, I was gonna see if it was a control ward. 
Uh, it seems that this Ezra was going to be the downfall to our game, unfortunately. Again, I've been zoned and just owned by getting um, frozen out this game, which has been really unfortunate. And like we're even getting outnumbered all the time now, so I literally cannot get back into this game uh, at all, which is annoying. Can't really do a lot about that. Right, I'm just gonna mute the Ezra on the pike. They're just not helping. Surprise, I'm back. I need a farm. Just I would let them have it. I don't think we can fight them at the moment. That's good. This Akali doesn't seem very good. Like, I know she's got way more farm than me. Okay, she still died. But you've seen why she's been allowed to have the more farm. With the freezing. And I needed... Like, I just needed a little bit of pressure. Or when... You know, the moment I was like, oh, if Skana came here now, it would have probably maybe snowball. He went bot lane and they all got killed. It's like moments like that that make the massive difference. Oh, they are using it straight away. Again, as a Jax, I don't really contribute to help stop that. So I may as well just try to get strength for like mid late game. Jesus. Okay, Carly, I think, just got red buff. She's there. Oh no, she didn't. I don't know what she was doing. We need some towers. I could do with a solo kill on a Kali and then some towers. It's been a bit of a weird lane though. It might be just because I don't know the Akali much. But we're not really fighting that much, are we? Surprise, I'm back. She knows Galio's coming. Does he have flash? Oh, he doesn't have flash. Wait, what? I actually don't know what just happened. Does she have... If you're like... That's so weird. Does she have like pure vision if she hits like an ability on you so she'll see you no matter what? I actually don't exactly know how that works. And then Trundle has enough time to get here and we get screwed. Go... Oh, Pike. Oh, and because they're waiting so long, it gives Galio enough time as well. <laughs> this game is a mess. Wait, why didn't Pike go for an execute? Oh, god damn it! What the? That was so late! Pike, you ulted so late! What the hell? God damn, you could park a bus in the gap that he left. Jesus. Uh This game doesn't look too great for us. Bum, 
Man, Carly's in mid. Again, knowing this game so far, I've never really been alone. So they've probably got their, like, the enemy bot lane is waiting in a bush or something, knowing my luck. Hopefully they don't die for that. No. That was a good pike hook. Again, they are fighting potentially outnumbered here. But they, the, the, the thing that made it work, it seems, is they got a pick. You know, what? that's the benefit of getting picks, is that you make a, a fight, you kill someone really quick, and then the tides are turned. So that was not what you'd call a team fight, that's what you'd call a pick. That hit? Oh, wow, that was really bad. Jesus Christ. I should just back. Uh, this is, oh, Ezra's going to die instantly, isn't he? No. He cancelled. At least it's given me time to do stuff as a Jax. I'm going to have to be careful now because both of them could come top lane from that and kill me together. Let's do a bit of running, running. Okay, no. Cool. So I got a tower and I got a bit more farm. And I get Triforce. Uh, what the hell's that comp? See, the annoying thing is I don't even know what boot I'm going to go. Oh, I can see myself split pushing this game, so I am going to buy Mercs to just not get bursted by the Akali. Wait, Majax. Whoa, that damage. Let me add yeah, I've got to split push this game. Like, me in teamfights doesn't really add anything to our comp. And if I can take her, her out especially... Which, again, I do think I outscale her. If I can take out the Akali in a 1v1, it's a really big deal. Because, like, she can one-shot our Ezreal and stuff. But if she doesn't do anything to me, then we probably win. Really good Galio. Wait, did Ezreal just walk straight into the... Yeah, he did. Okay, well... Again, it's a positive play. We gain more than they gained. They got one kill, we got two. You do that a whole bunch and soon enough you'll be double their kills. Right now I'm a little bit worried of where the Kali is. Because, like, I'm going to be honest, she really should not be letting me just get back into this game by farming. Pike. It do also, it does seem that this Pike has no idea with Pike. Maybe he's brand new to him. Oh, I would have really liked that. Okay, there's the oh, so she took red buff. Who's next? There's a control ward in there. I really want to know when I can fight her. But red buff is a bit awkward. I don't know if red buff changes it, the outcome of the fight so much that like now I can't fight her at all. How long was she moving for? Probably about five hours. We're good. The plan for today is main account for a couple hours. Um, then probably some nexus splits on the PBE. And then op.gg reviews to finish off the stream. Okay, what the hell is the Akali? Bring it on. This is bizarre. She is literally... Okay, there's Trundle. She could be in one of these bushes waiting for Trundle. Or not. What?! She bought QSS that early? Uh, we, I was about to go, but we don't have Galio ult. Oh, that's lovely for me. Oh, I'm going to go bot lane. Oh! There we go. Running, running, running. They can do Baron. 
So I will say it's been really bizarre this game. Like I had to go bot lane by the way. Like you know, I don't know. Maybe they can't do Baron unless they CC the Akali and kill her straight away. I just back off the Baron. Back off the Baron. You do it way too slow. Yeah, just back it off. Back off. Back off. Um, but I'd actually say the Akali's played her mid mid game really bad by the way. Um, she's had advantage in, over me for the whole lane phase with how the lane phase went and she basically has been avoiding me of all people on the enemy like in my team and it's let me nearly catch up with farm i just got two kills in that small skirmish that like it's bad decision making by her to like leave the jacks alone she should have kept bullying me but she didn't I wasn't expecting Trondle. Surprise! I'm back. Woo! That was a really good play if I do wait what? Oh my god, there's a Jace just there! Go on boys, get him! It's worth 100 percent worth. 100 percent That was a really bad miss. They still got him. Okay, we'll take it. Me surviving as long as I did was really good. That QSS, by the way, is just ruining my day as a Jax. Because I could kill that Misfortune in one combo if I can keep her still. But I can't keep her still. But yeah, there was a random... If I was like, what did I die to? Jace was in the Dragon Pit and he EQ'd over the wall. Like, what? Again, still worth, but it's just annoying because that was a really good play if I survived. It was a good play anyway, but if I survived, it would have been even better. Yeah, I really want to fight this Akali in a 1v1 now. I want to see if I beat her. I really want to see. Ready for battle. Again, I don't like the fact that these guys are alone. Galio should be with them, in my opinion. Oh. oh, that's a double stun. Okay, that pike has played really bad for most of this game. That right there kind of made up for it. Yeah, that was a really good double stun. We outscale them, man. We completely outscale them. Okay, with me, we can do Baron really quick. Okay. I Again, I don't know. I can't speak if Akali is good or bad just from this game, obviously. But maybe this Akali has just played it really poor. Like, her decision making just seemed really out of it. She should, like, I'm back in this game. When I was, like, honestly, I was out of this game. It was basically a 4v5. But because she left me alone for, like, you know, 15 minutes or, like, 10 minutes. Just gave me an opportunity to get back. So it is, like, a legit a 5v5 again. Um, I'm tempted to go GA next, actually. Just to put the icing on the cake to be annoying. I'm pretty sure I beat all of them apart from Trundle in a 1v1 now. Ready for battle. That's a weird item against the enemy team comp, I think. He should have gone, um, because again, Skarna struggles with getting to people. Where's his um Righteous Glory? It's on. Oh, that Akali. What the hell is she doing? I was hoping they'd run into me. Avoid the Skarna thing because I don't want Jace to know I'm coming. Okay. I got, I, like, yeah, I, I outscale, I think, all of them now. Like, Jace will never beat me in a 1v1. 
Um, because I'll be honest, I partially picked Jax against Jace. I thought I was against a Jace and lane, not an Akali. Because Jax beats Jace pretty easily. So yeah, I I like what I'm interested for the rest of the game is if the Akali is going to try and fight me or is she gonna continue trying to avoid me. I'm just gonna go over there. I think it's more it's worth more me actually grouping at this stage. See, the pike's actually turned up now. Um, he's uh, he's done a lot of like weird stuff, ulting too late. He's actually playing quite well. He's getting a lot of uh, executions and he's getting a lot of stuns. So again, it, uh, you know, I was annoyed by him, but it's why early game doesn't mean everything. If, if you start playing fantastic and good in the mid-late game, that's where you win a game. Chase damage. He's just trying to distract us so we don't finish. Screw that. Oh, I gave them 600 gold. That probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, well. Pike only doing playing good because there are more targets hit with this stun. Harder to miss. Maybe. Again, there is an argument to that. That if there's, you know, if you've got, a, I don't know, an assault rifle and there's five targets and you spray, well, the likelihood to hit one of them is quite high. If there's one target down the range and you've got, you know, one shot, the likely chance of hitting it is quite low. So, you know, that, that philosophy does exist. There are some people out there that, you know, are good in team fights, but suck picking people or 1v1 skirmishes. That definitely is a thing in League. Okay, because it goes a lemma. Because I get think the game's going to end pretty soon. Let's buy that. Again, normally I'd buy the damage one, but I actually think the health and tenacity is more worth in this comp. Let me add em. Makes me look really slow because I'm massive now, but whatever. Don't need to be mid lane. We can take Mountain and Dragon. Don't die. Or do we just walk? Okay, hang on. Let's just walk into their base and end. Screw it. I'm not dilly dallying. Unfortunate. Wait, did I hit the wrong target? Yep. Yeah, they're focusing me, but we get to end the game. There you go. Because that was a game that I was really out of it. And it was just like one of those depressing games. And even Twitch chat go it was like going, God, this sucks. Yeah, we started playing better. And again, I think... I don't know if I had the biggest impact on winning the game. I'm not saying that I did. But what I think we all can agree on is I was pretty much out of this game. Like, again, she had triple my farm. She had double my farm. But I was ignored for ages. Like, the Akali wasn't trying to stop me getting into this game for, like, a good 15 minutes. And I got back into the game and then suddenly the game becomes a 5v5 again. And if you actually look on who actually helped the team win the game in terms of contribution, she was involved in 10 kills in total. I was involved in 14. So I had a higher contribution to the game than the enemy Akali did. So it's 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 important that if you are against somebody and you want to shut them down, good. But if the moment that you, you're like, right, I can't put my attention on keeping this person shut down, you need to do other things really positive. And the Akali didn't. When she went away from me, she went to other lanes and just was farming. She wasn't trying to group and get kills. She was just farming. So really it wasn't like, a good idea at all uh but we plus 17 so we need to get two more wins to get to promo uh 767 189 farm and then damage done doing uh say that that again that's proof in the pudding right there 
Oh, we had more contribution in terms of kills, and we even do 4,000 more damage than her to the enemy champion. So even more contribution in damage terms, too. So that's pretty cr like crazy, in my opinion. Again, there's a really good lesson um, to make sure if you're shutting somebody down, either continue to do so, or when you stop shutting someone down, you go actually to go do work on the map. Don't just go and farm and let that person get back into the game. Uh, actually achieves things. And the Akali, when she stopped shutting me down, didn't achieve anything. She just was farming. So yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, sorry, like on the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See ya.